joining me. We're here for insight into goalkeeper analysis. This is Tony Roberts and Jose Sartre. So tell me about this room. Do you use it for goalkeepers? Is it for whole team meetings? Both. Um, obviously, when uh, the manager came in, he wanted somewhere uh, where we could relay the messages across. And this room was spare, so we had it built for this purpose. Bruno uses it a lot for the team meetings. I use it a lot for the meetings with the goalkeepers, uh, match day minus ones best practice meetings during the week, so um, goalkeepers are uh, doing things right and wrong and breaking it down, so we do a lot, a lot of analysis in it. OK, so, Jose, is that, if you've made a brilliant save, is it looking at how that save's made? And, and when you're looking at the analysis, do you like to, are you happy to discuss the mistakes that you've made, the things you could have done better, or do you like to see more of the positive stuff? No, no, no. Um, normally, I prefer to see the, what I did wrong and uh, discuss about this, what I can improve, what I can do better, what uh, options I have to play or what uh, technique I can use. And uh, yeah, of course, it's what we analyze and we discuss about this. And so analysis is a, an important and a big part you know, of your weekly sort of goalkeeper routine. And how much do you use it for post-match, looking at good stuff, maybe things to improve on? And how much is it looking forward to the opposition um, ahead? Yeah, on, on say on the match day match one on the Friday, I'll come in with the two analysts because I've got there's two analysts who help us as well, um, and I'll get all the goalkeepers in and we'll go through the threats of individuals, um, free kicks of individuals, um, so that they've got a picture of what may happen the next day. It's the games the games on the Saturday. We'll break down all the goals on the two, two or three days later, so that if they're in that situation, what would they do? And we've got a lot of discussion there, okay. so on different opinions and what um, some are thinking, because I want to know as the coach what they're thinking in certain situations. And um, on prep for games, the clip that we're going to show is uh, penalties, so you penalty save against Mitrovic, but before that, you're looking at the, the Liverpool game where Mitrovic scored, you're looking ahead to the game, what information do you want from Tony Jose? We saw the penalties of uh, Fulham, and I know that uh, last uh, goal he shot in the left of the goalkeeper. Uh, and but he gave me a lot of signals that uh, he will shoot in the other side because when it was penalty, take the ball and he look a lot of so time. Here. Yeah, okay. like here, he look a lot of time to my my left. Okay, a lot of time. Like you the he, he looked like. Four times, mm -hmm. and I think okay, he he, he wants that show me that he will put in the in that side, so I will go to the other. The mind game's being played with Jose Sarp. Which way? Goalkeeper saves it. So moving on to set pieces, these are things that you again you would talk about probably on match day minus one. Um, Jose, the reason why you've got your draft excluder, talk us through that. Why would you have a player there? To protect my side, so because in the, in this case mm -hmm. the wall will jump, jump. with yeah. everything. Because the ball is quite close to yeah. the edge of the with penalty, everything. Yeah. So it's difficult to him to put uh, a strong wall in my, in that side. Uh -huh. Have to be like a clip. Mm -hmm. So if it's a clip, I have I, I can have time to to go there, and if it's uh, on the floor, I have that player. So my my target is only protect my side. No, it's Bruno Fernandes and it's saved by Jose Sarr. Next, we're looking at balls into the box. You love a good counter-attack, don't you, Jose? Yeah. Is that to boost your assist stats from last season? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sometimes they say, no, you just won't do assists. <laughs> but it's, it's like this, 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 thing with, with your set pieces, the analysis, it's like um, the personnel you've got. So we've yeah. got yeah. we've got pace up top. So this fella has got good distribution with foot and throw. So the quicker we can get our boys up the pitch, because usually if people are, have got a set piece, they're usually committing seven, eight, so they're leaving one at back, maybe two. So if he catches it and claims, there's space up top or behind. Yeah, there it could have been a bit more flatter. Yeah. So the timing for the cross, brilliant, comes out, head up. Lovely. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, but just, just a little ready, bit wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all, like I say, all, all these things are worked on during 
obviously during the week we'll do, we, we throw the ball how many times, we kick the ball how many times and looking to counter obviously is, is, is a massive part of it. Jimenez, is this his moment? Still Raul Jimenez! Oh, the outpouring of emotion! So this one, I love because it's like one that you do every training session, double save, up, save second time. Love those as a goalkeeper when I was trained, did thousands, millions of them, but when it comes off in a game, it feels brilliant, doesn't it? Well, as he's coming there, he steps down the line, stands and spreads as uh, Harry's opened his body. So he's come, as he comes now, he stops. He's not going to get that ball because Harry's in control. He spreads, then it's just his speed, power and agility, which he gets up and then it's just desire just to not let a goal in. Ah, he's never off the ball as well, that's always important. Yeah. Some goalkeepers, you know, or even young goalkeepers, turn away from yeah. making the big save. Yeah. If your eyes are not on the ball, you're not going to make that second save as well. Do you like practising those in training, those kind of adrenaline sometimes ones? Sometimes I do this and um, I sometimes I be angry with me because I don't want, I want to be with uh, facing the ball. Sometimes it's like an um, instinct, you know, like you do the and after you turn a little. So, Tony, this is some footage from training. Will you just explain the setup, what sort of um, tools and things that you are using in your session and why? Yeah, so uh, I'm massively on to um, the goalkeepers dominating their, their box. Depending on where the ball is, OK, I want it to be front foot dominating them spaces because the best goalkeepers make the best decisions, either from balls over the top or from crosses. So I've got coming from crosses here. Obviously, I've built it up. And see that little half triangle, as it were, in your yeah. goal, four yards, five yards. Is that what's that for? This is for. Can I get up? Yeah, yeah. yeah this. That's right. So if you imagine how a shot is coming through, a ball is played here, okay? It's played across. He's into line with my lines. Now I don't want them behind that line because if it's power, it goes in the goal. I don't want them flying down the line because if it's then cut back, he's out of his goal. I want them just in front of this line. And that's their diving line. Yeah, so I, I want them to go that way instead of that way. Like a positive step, yeah. power step. So yeah. it's just a visual thing for them. Cool. And that's what I'm saying for, like I say, the shot stopping drills that we're doing. I'm always on to them about a position, position, position. What's your favourite training session? Is it like power, oh. flying top corners? Oh, all the trainings, all the trainings. We, we like uh, the trainings because they are always different, you know? When uh, we know what we will do in the training, this is one year, one season, all the same start be boring, mm -hmm. you know, always the same, oh, today we will do this, 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 and uh, here, no. Uh, I talk with him about this, that uh, we, we never know what we will do in the training. It's always different exercise, uh, always with the same purpose, with the same target, mm -hmm. but uh, different, and uh, the harmony between all of us, is, it's good, and this help us to, uh, to work too, and, uh, yeah, and to achieve our goal. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Tony, for no taking your time for to show us training sessions and talk us through. Love and it. Jose, thank you very much for coming out and welcome. sharing. Good luck for thank the rest you. of the season.